Okay, so let's take a look at schema versus schema list. So what is a schema? A schema in terms of a database is a formal language which describes the structure of data, a blueprint of a database. And a schema can, be def uh, can define many different data structures that serve different purposes of a database. So um, different data structures in a relational database could be things like tables, fields, relationships, views, indexes, packages, procedures, functions, MXL, schemas, queues, triggers, types, sequences, materialized views, cinnamons, cinnamons? Synonyms can't say that word. Database links and directories are going to highly vary based on the database that you're using. And I'm just going to show you an example of a schema. So here um, is actually part of my schema for the Exam Pro app. And so this is a Ruby on Rails schema that defines the structure for a relational database. And it's written in a DSL called Ruby. Um, but the thing is, is that this is going to highly vary uh, based on, again, what you're using. But just notice that you can see things like creating a table, creating indexes, creating columns for the database, things like that, adding extensions. Uh, schema list uh, is just kind of, it's still a schema, but the idea here is the primary cell of a database can accept many types. So just going back here for a moment, notice here that we have very particular... Notice here that we have very particular data types like integer, string, and stuff like that. The idea here is with schema list that that data type is a lot more flexible. And the idea there is it allows you to forego the upfront data modeling that you normally would have to do, which is a lot of work. Uh, and so that's one of the advantages of schema list. Common schema list databases would be key value, document, columns, uh, and then the subcategory of wide columns and graph. And uh, I, not a lot of information here, but we will describe it in more detail when we talk about uh, NoSQL databases, okay?